Hi, and thanks for watching this overview of Acumatica's Distribution Edition. Today we're going to create a quote and then convert it to an order. We'll pick and pack it. We'll create a purchase order. And we'll take a look at the inventory functions and how you can perform distribution operations in your business and highlight the benefits of Acumatica's Distribution Edition. So let's get started. As soon as we sign into Acumatica, and you can see I'm signed in up here, I'm logged in as the admin user. And as I click through the menu items, you can see all the different options that I have available to me. So at the top of the screen, you can see my username. You can see the system's time and date, the company I'm logged into. Acumatica supports multiple companies and branches of these companies. We have a global search at the top of the screen. So if I'm looking for something, let's say BAR, it will search through my menu items first, then through my transactions and profiles, finding customers and shipments for those customers and projects and all sorts of things. And if I go further to my help documents, you'll see Acumatica will return all the help articles. And Acumatica's help articles are written extremely well. You can find a lot of useful information, not just about a function, but also about why you'd use that function and how it could benefit you. And then lastly, you can see under files, Acumatica has a document management system. And the document management system allows you to store documents such as images, files, spreadsheets, PDFs, and all sorts of things not just in the system but attached to different documents such as orders or customer profiles and that kind of thing. Now on the left hand side we have a menu and the menu is collapsible so you can use the icons to guide you to the different menu options or you can expand it. As we click into the different menu options such as sales orders we have a toggle here for the quick menu items or the full menu items. And a simple configuration allows you to turn off the items that you want to see in your quick menu. So if we exit that, you'll see at the top of the screen, we have different action bars, such as create a new sales order or an RMA or a new quote or take a payment from a customer. And all of these menu items are configured based on your security. So if I don't have the rights to configure sales prices, I won't see them here. So let's get started by creating a new quote. So, we'll tab over. If there's a customer PO number, we can fill it in here. We'll type a few letters of the customer, and Acumatica will return those results. Notice it doesn't have to be a specific search in order to find the customer that you're looking for. Unlimited number of shipping and locations show up here. And now we can add items to this quote. So we'll click on Add Stock Item. Acumatica will show the items that are in stock by default. If you have multiple warehouses, you'll see those warehouses here. If you work in one particular warehouse, you can select that warehouse. And now you'll see the items available in just your warehouse. So maybe I need two of these laptops and two Lego sets. Now additionally, Sold Since allows me to see the customer's history. And by default, it shows the last 90 days, but you can change that. And you can see not only the quantity available, but how much did they buy, what they paid, and when they bought those items. So we'll add these items to our quote. And Acumatica has very flexible discount systems. So for this particular customer, if I change the quantity to five, notice Acumatica realized that quantity break and gave this customer $475. We can provide discounts based on customers, based on items, or combination of the two, or a group of the two. Now, Acumatica's integrated email system allows us to print this quote and send it out. So here we can do anything we want with the email. This template can be modified. And we can send it out. And if we go back to our quote, we'll notice Acumatica will maintain this conversation. So any replies from this customer regarding this quote will continue to get populated here. In any emails you get from the customer, you can reply simply from your Outlook, and those replies will get addressed to the quote as well as the customer's profile. So you'll see the entire thread here. This is useful for a manager following up on a particular quote or customer. They can see the conversation going on and see where it was last left. 
Now when the customer is given this the green light, we can actions copy this order over to a sales order. If the quote is old, we can have the system recalculate the prices or the discounts. And Acumatica's advanced credit system allows you to monitor the customer's credit and if they go over, it'll automatically put this order on credit hold for a credit manager to review so that they can contact the customer, arrange payment, or allow this order to get through. Now because we have the rights, we can release this order from a credit hold. Acumatica integrates with different shipping carriers. So we have the ability for your salespeople to shop for rates. So now your salesperson is armed with the amount of information they need so that the customer can select the appropriate delivery method. The system will show the price for the different delivery method, the days in transit, and the estimated delivery date. This works by integrating to your carriers your accounts. And Acumatica integrates with FedEx and UPS. And we also now integrate with ShipEngine. ShipEngine is a service that allows you to integrate with up to 20 carriers including UPS and FedEx and international shipment. Acumatica allows you to schedule items to push them out. So maybe this customer wants this in a week, but not today, or in a month, for example. You can schedule these items out and the system will honor these dates and not create shipments for them. You can also do this at the line item level. Additionally, there may be times when this is a special order item and you don't necessarily want to pull this from stock. So we can mark this for a PO and select drop ship or purchase to order. Purchase to order will come into your warehouse, but it will automatically allocate to this sales order. So this item will be reserved just for this order. So if we create this shipment, Acumatica will ship only the item that's not linked to the special order purchase order that we are going to create. Acumatica's advanced WMS option allows us to use a pick, pack, and ship screen, which would allow us to scan our shipment and start performing our pick operation. Additionally, you can use Acumatica's mobile app You can go into the warehouse management, perform your pick, pack, and ship, or any of the other inventory operations. We could scan the shipment number, scan the barcode of the item, and confirm the shipment. Acumatica will automatically print the packing slip and the carrier label and confirm this shipment. When it comes to creating invoices, Acumatica has process screens. Process screens to allow you to process orders, shipments, and invoices. So everything you need to produce bulk actions against these documents is right here. So process shipments allows us to create all of our invoices for shipments that have gone out the door and have been confirmed. So we can select a few, we can schedule this to automatically occur at night, or we can process all. And if we want to email out these invoices, or post them, or capture credit card payments, we can do it all from this screen. Process screens in Acumatica make operations much faster such as create purchase orders. If you recall before, we put an Acer laptop on an order with quantity 5, and notice it shows up here. This will create all the purchase orders, not just from our sales orders, but also notice inventory replenishment. Acumatica will honor the minimum quantities for your items and automatically ensure that they're kept in stock as they need to be.
And here's the purchase order. This purchase order notice is linked to the sales order we created earlier. We could take this purchase order off hold and we can send it out to the vendor. When we're ready to receive this purchase order, we can do it one at a time. And then again, with our advanced WMS option, we can do a receive and put away where we scan the purchase order and then we can start scanning in the quantities of this purchase order. When you receive the bill from the vendor, you can put in the vendor invoice number, add the PO receipt or receipts, merge all your landed costs in here, and post your bill. When it's time to pay bills, Acumatica's Prepare Payment screen allows you to select all the bills that you want to do in this check run. We'll tell you the selection totals so you know what your check runs in for. Acumatica has the ability to approve bills for payment and all these screens are secured. When you're ready, you'd release all the checks or reprint them if you had a problem with your printer. Taking payments from customers is easy. Select new payment from the receivables module. And Acumatica will provide you with all the open invoices that are here. You can read off the check stub and check off the invoices that you're applying to. If it's not a check, you can use Acumatica's integrated credit card system. And once you're done, you can release the payment and offset the invoices. Acumatica's dashboard system allows you to see key performance indications about your business. Orders ready to be shipped, late orders, pending transfers. These are just some examples of the kinds of things that you can see in Acumatica in real time. Purchasing suggestions and overdue receipts. Acumatica's dashboard system allows you to put widgets wherever you want to on the screen. And we have different widgets, such as charts, tables of information, scorecards, trending cards, you can take a Power BI tile and put it on the screen. Even pivot tables. Acumatica's Distribution Edition will give you a handle on your business like no other. It allows you to handle all of your inventory needs, your replenishment options, your order processing, your financials, and everything to make your business a success. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can subscribe to our channel also and find many more videos that can highlight specific functionality you may be looking for in your ERP system. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.